Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have here a quadratic equation to solve. We're going to find all the values of x. So in this video, I'm going to show you the easy and fast way to solve the quadratic equation. So we're going to solve and find all the values of x. So now let's go ahead with our solution. So first step will be trying to find the first possible value of x. Trying x is equal to 1. So to do this, we'll be adding all the coefficients of the terms that includes the constant, and that will be equal to 0. So in here, so a plus b plus c plus d, so a, b, c, d plus e, this is equal to 0, then one of the values of x must be 1. So let's start substituting. So a is the first term coefficient b second term coefficient and so on and so here we have a is 4 and then second is minus 8 c negative 7 d positive 17 and e negative 6 this be equal to 0 here take a look 17 and 4 that is positive 21 and these are all negatives so that is negative 15 negative 6 that is negative 21 so add this up, this equals to 0. So this means this just confirms that one of the values of x is 1. Okay. And so from here, we'll be using synthetic division to find the other factor of the equation. And so putting 1 over here, and then the coefficients of each term, that includes the constant. So we have here 4, minus 8, minus 7, plus 17, or simply 17, then negative 6. So here, bring down 4. So 1 times 4, that's positive 4. And add these up. So positive 4, negative 8, that's negative 4. Again, 1 times negative 4, that's negative 4. And add these up. So but that will be negative 11. Then times positive 1, that will be negative 11 and then add this up so that is positive 6 times 1 that would be positive 6 so 6 minus 6 is 0 so remainder 0 so these are the coefficients of the terms of our new equation so here 4 is the coefficient of x cubed that is 1 degree lower from the original equation we have quadratic equation so from here, degree 4, now we have degree 3. And going ahead, so we have negative 4 times x squared and negative 11 x and then plus 6 equals 0. So now we have a cubic equation. It's because we have degree 3 right there. And so from here, we're getting q as 4 and find the factors of 4 so we have 1 2 and 4 and that's value of q and it's designate p as 6 and find all the possible factors of 6 that will be 1 2 3 and 6 and here we have p divided by q all the possible Solutions to the equation that will be positive negative p over q that will be all the possible combinations of p divided by q That's positive and negative. So we have 1 over 1. That's 1 1 over 2 1 half 1 over 4 1 fourth and 2 over 1 that's 2 2 over 2 that's 1 2 over 4 then 3 over 1 then 3 over 2, then 3 over 4, then 6 over 1, 6 over 2, and then 6 over 4. And so these are possible values of x. So we have 4 times 3 is 12, that will be 24 
possibilities. So, and yet we can reduce these choices since we have six over four is three halves. So we have three halves over here already. And six over two, that's three. So we have here three or three over one. And here two over four, that's one half. So we have one half already. So we have here possible solutions. So we have positive, negative, one, one half, one fourth, two, and one, we have one already right there, so cancel that. So we have three over one is three, three halves, three fourth, six over one or six. So we have possible choices of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we have 16 possible solutions, possible values of X. So once again, we're going to use synthetic division to find the factor of the equation. And since the first choice is 1 and we have that value already from here, first value of x. So then we're going to the next choice, 1 half. So let's try 1 half and get all the coefficients of our term. So we have 4 minus 4 minus 11 plus 6 or 6. So from here, bring down 4, then 4 times 1 half, that will be 2, and add it up, it will be negative 2 times 1 half, that will be negative 1, add them up again, so that's negative 12, times 1 half, that will be negative 6, add them up, it will be 0, so remainder is 0. So we have now coefficient of 4 of x squared. A degree down from degree 3 from here so 4x squared then minus 2x minus 12 then equating this into 0 also we have just confirmed another value of x is 1 half and so from here we can find the value of x by factoring right okay let's do factor that equation so we have here negative 12 times 4 that is 48 that's negative 48 what are the factors of negative 48 that will add up to negative 2 so we have here possible choices factors of negative 48 so these are 48 and 1 then 24 and 2 and 12 and 4 and 6 and 8 and so these are the possible factors of negative 48. So which one of the pair of factors that will, when we add it up, it will have negative 2. So here we're looking for the possible factors of negative 48. When we add it up, will result to negative 2. So out of these choices, we have here 6 and 8, right? Since the middle term is negative, so we're going to have the bigger value carries the negative sign. So 8 is negative and 6 is positive. So let's say put those factors over here. So let's say 6 over here, that's positive, and 8 on this side, that's negative. And now going back to our equation, since the leading coefficient is 4, so we divide these factors by 4, both sides. So here, we reduce the lowest term, so we have 8 over 4 is 2, that's negative 2, or let's do it 2 over 1. And 6 over 4 is 3 halves, that's positive. And these two values will stand as part of the factors of our equation. So we form a couple of parentheses over here, and we equate those factors to 0. So this value, 3 halves, goes in here, and the other factor goes on the other parentheses. So 3 halves, the lower part is 2 coefficient of x, that's 2x, and then 3 positive 3 is here. The other factor is 2, negative 2 over 1, 1 goes to the left, that is the coefficient of x, so that's 1x or x, and then minus 2, that will be here. So equating both factors to 0, so we have 2x plus 3 equals 0. 
So we have x is equal to negative 3 halves. And the other one, x minus 2 equating to 0. So we have x is equal to 2. We have here values of x, negative 3 halves, and positive 2 on the other two. Values of x we found earlier by synthetic division. We have here 1 half. And the other one that we've, we, got, we found earlier, positive 1. So we have here a set of our solutions. Value of x is equal to 1, 1 half, negative 3 halves, and positive 2. So this is our set of answers. And so that's all I have for you today. And for those new to my channel, if you would like more of these kind of videos, just don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe. Drop some comments so I would uh, see those when I get back. And uh, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. Take care.